In this lesson, we'll learn how to work with dimensions and also create our very own dimension style. All right, so let's learn how to work with some dimensions. Now, accessing your dimensions is as easy as going to the Home tab here and going to your Annotation panel. You can also access your dimensions in the Annotate tab right around this area towards the middle here where it says Dimensions. But first, for now, we're going to go ahead and jump to the Home tab. And we're just going to look at two different types of dimensions. Actually, we'll talk about three different types. Your linear, your aligned, and also an angular dimension. Now, the first thing we'll do is I want to go ahead and apply a angle dimension. Now, we have got a really oddly shaped or uniquely shaped building here with some interesting angles. And it's going to be really important that we kind of call out what these angles are so when it gets built, people know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So, as I mentioned, all your dimensions are here in your annotation panel. And to apply a dimension, if you're going to click on this one, this will just be your standard simple dimension here. But we want to apply an angled dimension. So I'm going to go down here to my drop down menu and we're going to go to angular. Now when you're applying an angular dimension, it's as easy as picking two lines so that AutoCAD can figure out the angle. And in this case for our wall here, I want to pick I want to determine the angle for this side here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this line and this wall, this line. And what it does is it brings out our style here or our dimension. Now when I create this dimension, you'll notice something you really can't see much. It looks like I've just drawn a simple arc. Now, if I scroll in here, you'll notice its text is displayed really small. And not only that, I'm on the incorrect layer. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select our dimension. And I'm going to drop this on the correct layer, Dimensions. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my uh, layer properties. And I'm going to double click on Dimensions so that this is our current layer. So now we're in business there. But what I want to do is I want to edit this dimension so that the dimension is, or the text in my dimension is large enough for me to see. Not only the text, but also the arrows here. So to do that, we're going to create our very own dimension style. So to do that, we're going to type in dim style on our keyboard here. So that's D-I-M-S-T-Y-L-E. I'll hit enter. And it'll bring up our dimension style manager here. And at this point, we can either go with what kind of what we have already here, this annotative or standard. But I want to show you how we can take it one step further and create our very own style. So just to the right of this window, go ahead and left click on new with me. And now what we need to do is we need to assign a name to this. And when you're creating a new dimension, you have the option to pick where you're basically starting from with your new dimension. So you basically can pick your starting point. So in this case, we're going to start with standard. But if you wanted to go with annotative, we could just with this drop down. But I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and I'm going to put in a name that works for me. I'm going to say my style. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And now I'm going to make those three changes we talked about. So let's go to up here on our tabs. This is how we'll be able to access that. So right now I'm on primary units. So if you're not there, just click on primary units and you'll see it. So we want to get this to represent the units that are part of my discipline. In my case, I really don't work often with decimal. Let's say we work more in the architectural setting. So we can go to this drop down. We'll switch to architectural. And now that takes care of that. And you can see in this graphic here how this is shown. Let's go ahead and adjust our text as well. So let's left click on the on the text tab. And a couple of maybe a few little spots down here. We're going to go ahead and adjust this text height to be one. Oh, we'll say six inches. So I'm going to say six inches. And I'll hit enter. So I'm also going to change my uh, symbols and arrows. So just next to your tab, left click on your symbols and arrows. And just down here underneath our arrowheads, we're going to change this to six inches as well. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to close out. And you can see now really nothing much has happened. Well, that's because we need to apply that dimension style we just created to this particular dimension. So I'm going to select a dimension. I'm going to right click. Underneath this dimension style option, I'm going to choose the style that we just created. My style, you see that? Boom. Takes care of my arrows are larger, my text is larger. Things look a lot better. And that's how you do your angular dimension. It's about picking the two lines or surfaces or walls in this case uh, to basically create that dimension. Now there's another dimension. This one is going to be our linear dimension. So I can go to back to this drop down again. And this linear dimension here, and what this does, it basically allows us to create a linear dimension that is horizontal, vertical, or a rotated dimension line. So basically, I'll show you how it works here. So we're going to go ahead and go with linear. And you see it is we have this angled wall here. 
So if I were to use this linear dimension, what it's going to do is it's going to give me the distance between this point and this point. But it's not going to do it the distance this way. It's more about the, the vertical distance or even the horizontal distance. So check this out. So I'm going to point here. And I'm going to select here. And there's my dimension. And if I just drop it here, it's going to let me know what the distance is from here to here, referencing this point. That's your linear dimension. Now, if I wanted to apply a dimension that's actually going to follow and give me the actual dimension of a distance of an angled wall like this, then I'm going to want to go with an aligned dimension. So we can go back to our drop down. We'll go with aligned. And this one will allow me to get the dimensions you probably see most often. So in this case, let's get the dimension of this wall here. Boom. And boom here. That's the dimension of this interior space. But the behavior is a little bit different when we come to an angled wall here, such as this one. So if I right click to reaccess my command, repeat dimension aligned, I'm going to go from here to there, and it's going to actually give me the dimension of that wall, which is 40 feet long, as opposed to just the distance between this point and this point, the vertical distance. And those are three common dimensions you'll actually be working with. Now you also have access to dimensions to find the radius and the diameter and, a few, and the arc length as well. But I wanted to cover the main ones that you'll probably run into in the beginning of your uh, learning here with AutoCAD. So that's a look at working with three different types of dimensions, but also how we can create our own dimension style. So in the next lesson, I want to take it one step further, and I want to talk about how we can use text to start to really uh, define each one of these spaces, and we'll even create our own text style.